with Covenant Eyes within your home. And so uh, why is that such an effective tool? Why do parents need to put this into their home? Yeah, that's great. Great uh, question. We, we probably could have called this more appropriately a war on the darkness of technology because there are some good things with technology, of course. I mean, you know, the Bible apps we all love. We, we broadcast our services, you know, on our social media, and, and there's some very positive things, but there's also, as Clint's pointed out aptly, some really dark things. So Covenant Eyes is the software that I, I we've been using a long time in our household. Uh, I, was, I first learned about it at, I think, a Promise Keepers event in the early 2000s. I think it was developed in about the year 2000. Uh, but it's the largest um, accountability software that there is, and, and there's some paperwork out there on the table that I think everybody may have picked up on the way in. If not, go get it. I, it's a subscription-based, I mean, we don't make any money on this. I'm telling you, I, we use it, okay? I, they're not, I'm, not in, I'm endorsing it because I'm a user. Uh, it's about $15 a month, $16 a month, something like that. And you get up to 10 devices. And what it is, it's accountability software. So uh, men in a church, you know, men's Bible study groups will do it. That's how it's presented at Promise Keepers. But they also mention, hey, when your kids become teenagers, especially if you have boys, dads, they're talking to the guys at this event, you might want to think about doing this with your sons. And so we've been doing that. And so what it does real, real simply is it has an algorithm and software. I'm, it's way above my head how it works. But um, it, it scans. You, you obviously opt into it. But it scans every all the activity on your phone or your devices, your laptop, tablet, what have you. We do all of it. And then it sends a report to your accountability partner. So my accountability partner right now is Jack, my son, right? And so he's 17. So he and I get a report of all the things that are on our phones or all of our devices once a week. If anything objectionable comes up, your accountability partner gets an immediate notice. I'm proud to tell you my son has, he's got a clean slate, all right? Yeah. But, but we, get, we get a report and it says, hey, no, no uh, activity of concern. And it's really, really sensitive. It'll pick up almost anything. It looks for keywords, search terms, and also images. And it will send your accountability partner a blurred uh, picture of the image. And so on occasion, I get one. I was just looking at the one from this week. I got on, on Jack and it said, this, this is the only one that may be questionable, and it's this blurred Im image of two, two women talking in a live screen thing, and I zoom in, and I have to unblur it, and it's, and it's two middle-aged teacher 